हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्निकल स्किल्स माय नेम इज कुलदीप सिंह एंड दिस चैनल इन दिस चैनल वी विल टुडे डिस्कस अबाउट इंडस्ट्रियल ऑटोमेशन दिस इज माय फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन ऑन इंडस्ट्रियल ऑटोमेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो यू कैन सी द योर फर्स्ट लाइट दिस इज इंडस्ट्रियल ऑटोमेशन सो फर्स्ट लेट डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज ऑटोमेशन इन लेमेंस लैंग्वेज वी कैन से automation is something that we are doing automatically or something that is working automatically it is known as automation but here you can see some definitions on the web on this slide first is delegation of human control functions to the machines it means in second slide you can see or any work that is done by human humans is given to the machine or done by the machine both are the same thing we can say it or delegation of human control functions to the machine or any work that is done by humans is given to the machine or done by the machine initial automation is something whatever the functions that we are doing manually is now we have given to the machines or done by the machines for example earlier we used to wash clothes with the hands now we have a washing machine for this so we have many examples in our daily daily life that we are using automation but here we will discuss about industrial automation in industries how this automation is working earlier we use we use levers to carry our loads but now we have conveyors to carry the loads even for mixing and cutting we have the machines earlier that we have to do it manually so let's move to the next slide let's discuss first the advantages of industrial automation what are the advantages of industrial automation first is increasing productivity increasing productivity first point is increasing productivity to increase the productivity we need industrial automation because we have lots of demand so to uh, meet the demand we definitely have to increase our production for product to increase the production we cannot do it manually we need machines we need industrial automation so for increasing the productivity productivity we need industrial automation so we can increase the productivity with the help of industrial automation this is the first advantage second thing is increasing quality definitely we need best quality with the uh, help of machines we can achieve this best quality because the precise work that we need can be handled or can be done by the machines we will don't we will not have any human errors so we can achieve it with the help of machines or we can say industrial automation third thing is reducing cost cost can be reduced by the help of machines because labor cost will be reduced with the help of machines we don't have to pay regularly to the laborers we can take a machine machine can do work of many laborers at a time so we can reduce the cost by the labor cost and even if the productivity productivity will be high if production will be high the cost will be reduced so by this means we can reduce the cost with the help of industrial automation fourth thing is safe working conditions there are many many conditions where we humans can't work like if there is uh, there is hot conditions there is very cold conditions or there are some hazardous conditions where a humans can't work their machine can work so we can use it we can use industrial automation to work in the conditions that are not favorable for the humans fifth point is time saving we can save the time with the help of industrial automation last point is less human efforts we don't have to work hard we just have to push a button and everything will be done by the machine so these are the some advantages of industrial automation let's move ahead to next slide that are disadvantages of industrial automation so first discuss first let's discuss what are the disadvantages of industrial automation here i have discussed some technical and not technical advantages like an un- unemployment for uh, this is the this is also disadvantage created by the automation if we are hiring we are using machines to do the work our laborers will be free so we are creating an unemployment with the help of industrial automation second thing is pollution our industries are working on industrial automation and we are creating pollution we are creating pollution by using the industrial automation third thing is it's costly yes it's costly because you have to put some initial cost to make a machine 
initial cost is, cost is definitely required for the machine and even running cost is required maintenance cost is required so automation is costly if you do it manually you can do it manually we do, maybe you don't need so much cost initially and but for the automation you definitely have to put something some cost like if you have to make a fan you have to uh, make a fan you have to put a cost for making a fan then electricity cost and maintenance cost will be included extra last point is skilled labor requirement as i have discussed the, uh, automation is creating unemployment but it is also creating employment for skilled labor so for automation is creating a skilled labor requirement because everything will be done by the skilled labor who have some knowledge of you or you have technical skills so for skilled labor labor requirement we we are uh, automation is creating the skilled labor requirement so unemployment is there for layman but requirement is for skilled labor so let's move to the next slide here we will discuss history of industrial automation what is the history of industrial automation means let's discuss how far our industry has gone with uh, these points first let's discuss the manual control so, so first is the manual control earlier we used to do all the work manually like cutting mixing or loading and loading everything is done manually so whatever i have discovered discussed the advantages uh, the all the advantages that we have discussed in the previous slide were the disadvantages in manual control like we don't have a high productivity we are not have getting achieving the great quality we are not having the safe working conditions we are are not saving our time there were less human there were sorry there were a lot of human efforts were required so whatever the advantages that we have discussed were the disadvantages for manual control next point is pneumatic control pneumatic means air so we have started our automation we can say we have started our automation with the help of pneumatic control initially so we have developed some machines or structure that were worked with the help of air uh, for example you can see even now it is used in buses also to open the door and close the door so we have some pneumatic and hydraulic structures that we are using right now also in industry you can see there are some pneumatic controls and hydraulic controls that are used in industry but there are some drawbacks associated to this like it is a bulky system uh, pneumatic control is a bulky system lots of compressors uh, even uh, the pipes and even the pistons and uh, cylinders are required in this pneumatic control secondly if we are we have we are making a system we are making a system particular process so that system is not a standard system that can be work on other process also we have to make another pro system we have to dismantle the first system we have to make a second system so that that can work on the second process so there is not a standard uh, system that can work on every process so this was the uh, drawback of pneumatic control then we move ahead to hardware logic control hardware logic control is like we are now depending on uh, dependent upon electricity so relay logic control we can say is hardware logic controller control so it uh, is also having some disadvantages earlier we used to have a big panels bulky panels were there complexity of wiring was there and uh, now same what i have discussed earlier like for a particular like for a particular process we have a particular wiring for different process we have different wiring the not a standard wiring that can be applied to all the process so this was also a drawback in hardware logic control then we move ahead to the fourth point that are electronics that electronics came into the market and the electronics made the things very compact now we are using like uh, we can say earlier the monitors were used that were crt monitors now led and lcd and all these things have came so things are becoming compact so many relays machines have become uh, compact with the use of electronics but for in electronics also for a particular process we have a particular design particular uh, what we can say a wiring or design for uh, other process we have to change the uh, change all the or dismantle all the uh, initial wiring and we have to do wiring again because the process is different so that standard wiring cannot be applied on second process so this was also a drawback in electronics then it came uh, controllers were came plc came in 1970s we uh, were using plcs 
PLCs or we can say a controller. Controller, now we have started using controllers. Controllers have an advantage that firstly, there was no compact, it is compact. Secondly, there was no complex wiring. Thirdly, that standard wiring process that we are missing from last four points, we have gained in this point. The standard wiring process, we do not have to change much wiring in PLC or controllers, just have to change the software. If, want to ch if we want some changes, we can make in software, the hardware will work accordingly. Let us move to the next slide. So, this is our last slide, industrial automation depends upon. So, these are the three things that you can see in the slide, the industrial, auto, de, industrial automation depends on these three things. First is field instruments as I have discussed in hardware logic in history or in, in previous slide, hardware logic control. Field instruments like uh, first let us see what are the field instruments. Field instruments are the instruments that are used in industry. It could be, it can be a motor, it can be a relay, it can be a contactor, it can be a pressure transmitter, level sensor, anything that we are in using industry are the field instruments that the instruments that we are using in field. Uh, so, we have discussed in previous slide the hardware logic control was the field instruments control means we are, we are using the field instruments to make the automation happen. So, automation was uh, dependent upon field instruments. The first stage was field instruments. After that, the PLC were introduced in 70s. Now, we have started using the PLC and field instruments all together. PLC, PLC was programmed and it was interfaced with the field instruments. Now, we were using the both things PLC and field instruments. We used to give signal to PLC from input that is a field instrument and PLC receives the signal, PLC process the signal and give it back to the field instruments that we motor on any output. So, like this, these two things were working and more, more than 98 percent industry is using these two things. Now, the third came, came third thing came to limelight that is SCADA. SCADA it is supervisory control data acquisition. It is the next software. It is a platform, software platform where we can design a virtual plant. We can design a plant, plant in animation and we can uh, design a same plant. Uh, it should corresponding, it should correspond to the same uh, plant that we have uh, in real, in reality. So, our virtual plant will look like same as that in the real plant, as that of real plant. So, we can uh, supervise our whole plant in that software. We do not have to go to the uh, field to take the readings and everything. We can supervise and take readings and in, in our software solution that is a SCADA. So, we can first thing is supervisory, we can supervise the whole plant in our um, in our system that is a SCADA system. Second thing is control, we do not have to go to field to control something. We can just click here on our PC or our system or our SCADA system, we can control our plant from here only. Third thing is third thing is data acquisition. We can collect our data. We need data of pressure transmitter, pressure flow level, or any type of technical data that we need from plant. We can get it on our system. That is a SCADA. So this is very useful thing that industry is now using. So, SCADA is a software. So SCADA cannot. Uh, interface directly with the field instruments because the language of field instruments and SCADA are different. SCADA has a language in KB and MB. Field instruments have language in voltage and current. So, we need an interface in between these two things that interface is PLC. So, SCADA is first interfaced with the PLC and PLC is definitely interfaced with the field instruments. This is how the things work. If we have to send a data from SCADA to field instruments, we will first send a data SCADA to PLC and PLC will send a data to field instruments. Similarly, if we need to know a temperature from a temperature sensor in the field instruments, so temperature sensor will give a signal to PLC and PLC will give a signal to SCADA. This is how we will know the temperature sensor reading in uh, the SCADA. So, this is so this with this I complete this uh, chapter. This is just a basic information of industrial automation. In next videos, we will definitely learn these things in details like field instruments, PLCs, SCADAs, HMIs, drives and everything. I will just discuss it with you in our uh, forthcoming slides or videos. If you like this video, just like this video, share this video. Thank you. 
very much.